नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट अस टॉक अबाउट एल टी एस फाइव सिम्युलेशन वॉट वील डू नाउ इज वील ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन सिम्युलेट ए सर्किट फॉर सिस्टम सप्लाई सो देर विल बी राइक लाइक टू मॉस्पेट्स दैट विल बी यूज वन विल बी एन मॉस्पेट एंड वन विल बी पी मॉस्पेट्स सो वॉट हैपन्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन इज लेट अस से यू हैव ए बैटरी एंड दिस बैटरी वोल्टेज हैज टू बी शिफ्टेड टू दिस सिस्टम सप्लाई सो इन दैट केस वॉट विल हैपन इज देर विल बी ए स्विचिंग सर्किट दैट विल बी designed in the middle so that it can switch off the battery supply or switch on the battery supply based on the microcontroller functionality or maybe something else okay so as you power on the button the battery supply will get connected to the system or maybe we have a voltage supply rail that will get connected to the system okay so what happens basically is we'll just take let us say this is my supply voltage let, let's say it is a battery voltage or it is some other voltage supply rail uh, constant supply rail or maybe regulated supply rail and this has to get shifted to the v output that is my this is let us say this is my load and this is my uh, you know like our system load okay so what will happen is basically this is my p channel mosfet okay and what we are going to do is this has been you know like directly connected to this particular gate so this is my gate this is my source and this is my drain so this has been pulled high and it is pulled high so this will be off <coughs> now what will happen i am going to put a enable signal let us say this is from coming from microcontroller which needs very low current to switch on this particular mosfet so this is going to be n channel mosfet if you want you can utilize at this place uh, npn transistor also okay so that is not a problem now what will happen as soon as it goes high let us say as soon as i make this signal high this particular mosfet will start working and as soon as it starts working this particular point will pulled down it it will be pulled down and as it as it pulls down this particular mosfet will switch on and this is how we will achieve the power supply output okay <coughs> so let's quickly open lts spice and we'll see this particular simulation very quickly so what we can do is this is my lts spice window we can open a new circuit by pressing this new schematic window let us say what do we need we need two voltage sources let us say one voltage source is the main voltage source that we want to work on and one we will utilize for the purpose of enabling and disabling one of the mosfet okay then what we can do is we can press ground so let us say we will put grounds okay and what else we need we need two mosfets right so we can press p to get the component window and we can put p mos okay so you can put p mos here this will be used to uh, supply this particular voltage to the output so what we can do we can press control r to rotate <coughs> and control e to mirror okay that's all and one more we need n mos so i can put n mos if you want you can put n npn transistor as well we will see that circuit also not a problem so this will be simple n mos okay now what do we need we need one resistor here we can put a resistor here we can put a small resistor here otherwise it is not needed however i always try to Uh, put here so that you know like we can pull it at our convenient points and then we can put one resistor here as a voltage divider kind of thing so that we do not give high voltage level there i can pull this ground down okay so our circuit is there now we can quickly press w to wire this up okay so this is how my circuit is going to get completed wire it up here also you can wire it up so you can press on the cross of the wires and you can connect them it is not in line so what i can do is i can press s and move it a little okay or stretch it a little press w to get wires if you want you can go here and press this one wire otherwise w is going to
20 watts that you guys already know or otherwise you can see lot of videos that I have already put in the introduction phase okay so this circuit is now complete what we can do quickly is can put a supply voltage let us say 12 volt so this is a 12 volt battery or maybe 12 volt regulated supply here we need to have a very high resistance value so that leakage current doesn't appear okay so that's the <coughs> meaning that I want to have so let us say we are going to put here 20 kilo ohm and this one I can put it let us say 1.2 kilo ohm and this one gate res gate gate resistor I can put it let's say 100 ohm and this one I can subdivide it let us say 4.7 kilo ohm <coughs> this is my load resistor so load resistor I can put it let's say 10 kilo ohm or system load what we can do is if you want we can later on we'll change but just quickly we will run it first okay so for that we need enable signal so this enable signal I can have a pulse okay so let's say put a pulse of 3.3 volt okay so what we can do go to advanced go to pulse initial voltage I'm going to take 0 on voltage let us say we are going to put 3.3 volt delay I'll just keep it 0 and time rise I'll keep 1 microsecond time fall I'll keep 1 microsecond on time let me keep 100 millisecond and off time also let me keep 100 millisecond so that T period will become 200 okay so 100 millisecond on time 100 millisecond off time let me press S to move it outside so you can just connect that this is my voltage supply okay now we can configure the analysis so stop time since our period is 200 milliseconds so let us say we'll run it for three pulses so we can run it for three uh, 600 millisecond okay and we can start we can start saving data from zero onwards so this is my transient analysis that is done I have not defined the MOSFET actual uh, you know like uh, uh, I mean parts we will see that later on now what we can do is this is my V input this is my V output and this is my enable signal I'll just put the net names for them so I can just press uh, this uh, which is a spice direct not a spice directly we have we have net okay so n so we have net I can just press V input here and V output here and enable signal here so this name I can change it by right clicking this is my enable signal and this is my V out now what should happen whenever my enable signal goes high this particular MOSFET will be switched on and this is how it will be pulled down and this V in will go to V out and whenever this is low it is not on it means this V input will not go there and V output will be zero so let's run this particular schematic I'll just keep it right side you will be able to see properly so let us see we will probe the voltage on the input side and we can see we have 12 volt continuous voltage right we are expecting that my V output should appear 12 volt whenever this enable signal goes high and whenever this enable signal goes low uh, or it is low it is not switching like it is not on then it will be low loud V output will be low so let me first plot V enable signal okay so this is my enable signal that you can see for 100 millisecond it is on and for next 100 millisecond it is off if you want you can you know like uh, go here and scale this so let me just make it 50 millisecond okay so 50 50 you can see the grids okay now what is uh, what we are expecting is on the V outside whenever it is high my V out will be high okay so you can see we have V output is this one now what is the problem that we have faced is V output is not coming proper so the problem that we are facing is because of the MOSFET is not chosen the, the MOSFET part is not assigned so why don't you do one thing we can put as uh, NMOS pick a part so what we can do is right click it pick new MOSFET any MOSFET you can choose okay <coughs> for that purpose so any MOSFET let us say we'll put a met, let's say Infineon MOSFET or something uh, we can put up so this is one of the Infineon MOSFET 
now p mosfet i can put it so p mosfet you need to have you know like current rating bit higher so that's the understanding that you should have in advance okay anyway it doesn't matter so i'll just take one of the mosfet let's say sic series i'll just take so sic i can take up let me just take this one no problem or maybe 40 volt i'll just take <coughs> okay now we'll run this okay so now you are seeing uh, i'll just rerun it again <coughs> this is my in input voltage v in which is 12 volt and this is my enable signal which is going to up to 3.3 volt and this is my output voltage i'll just do one thing i'll just add a trash below and pull this v output in this one so what is happening is whenever my enable signal v e n is going high for a first 100 millisecond my output is also going high that is output is available Whenever enable signal is low, it means this MOSFET M2 is off. And in that case, my output is not available. So you are switching off the system supply. So system supply is going to be available from this battery voltage or maybe regulated power supply voltage. And this voltage will be available only when you are switching on this particular MOSFET M2, which is going to be the enable signal. Okay. So hope you have a good understanding about how to start with or how to simulate the high side switching so that you can supply your voltage level from your input or from your battery supply or from any of the power supply that is available on your board to the output of the uh, system where you want to load it or where you want to drive your loads. So alright guys, if you do have any questions or queries, you can put down your comments in the comment box and we shall be able to come up with some answers. Thank you so much.